Hi there, welcome back to the Beamer Tech channel. My name is Nathan and today we're showing you how to install your Alpha One speakers from Beamer Tech on a 2011 535i F10. Let's roll the intro and get started. Alright, so the tools I'm going to be using for this install are going to be a driver, a multi-purpose screwdriver, T50, T30, and T20 Torx bits, a few different flathead bits, an 8mm socket, and a quarter inch socket, as well as the plastic trim tool kit from Beamer Tech. So first we're going to install the door speakers right here as well as the tweeter up here. Now the first step is to remove the door panel. So you're going to want to take your plastic trim tools, which I have right here, and you're going to want to start to remove this trim piece here. I highly recommend using one of these plastic trim tools because you don't want to scratch your trim and you don't want to mess up any of this leather here. So I use the plastic trim tool and I just come on the, this first edge right here, wedge it in there, and slowly just start to pry very gently. You can hear that first clip pop out. Then I like to go along the top edge here and very gently just sort of work your way down. And as you work your way down, you're going to hear the uh, plastic clips coming loose all the way down. And then once you have those clips loose, sometimes I need to go on the underside too to get some of the uh, clips loose. Now once you have the main clips loose, there's also going to be a metal clip here that requires you to push from underneath because it's sort of spring loaded. So I'll show you that right now. So you see here is the little metal clip I'm talking about. Now it's sort of spring loaded from the bottom. It has a little bend in it that holds it into the hole. So I like to come up from underneath with my plastic trim tool and just sort of push to get that out of the hole like that. Yep, so once that clips out and all the rest are sort of pried out with your plastic trim tool, you can just move this forward and that's going to come right out of that hole there and step one's done. So now that that's off, you can see there's going to be a T30 right here and another one behind this door handle. So we're going to get this door handle trim out now. All right, so getting this trim piece here around the door handle can actually be pretty tricky because these are really in there and there's two clips on this side that are pretty hard to get to with the trim tool because of this door handle here. So um, this side's usually a lot easier. So I kind of try to start on this side. Might want to use one of your bent plastic tools so that you can get some good leverage and just sort of work that in there and you can hear that pop out like that. So, so this side is out and sometimes it can be helpful to hold the door handle open like that. So there you see that just popped out. Now it does take a little work to get that to, to, get that to come out. But as you can see, there's a little clip here and two little, one clip on the bottom here and then another one here. So those go in those holes there and it can just be a really tricky angle because of this thing. So just take your time and be gentle and try not to force it because these clips can break if they're uh, old and fragile. But now that we have this, this off here, you can see there's another T30 here now. So now we can go ahead and take our uh, tool here with our T30 bit, pop that in, take this out. Now that this one's out, we can move over to the other one on this side. All right, there you go, that one's out. All right, so now that we got the T30s out, the only thing holding the door panel in is gonna be the clips. So I like to start up here and sort of wiggle your plastic tool in, and you can just sort of use a little bit of pressure to just pop those out. You can hear that one popped out. So that one's out. There you go. And you can hear them just popping out. And once you get a little bit of room, you can sort of just wiggle your fingers in there. And you can use your fingers for the ones on the bottom, just like this. All right. So now all of the clips are out. It even feels like the ones over here are out. So once you have these clips out, you can see the door panel is actually pretty loose. And it's actually ready to be taken off. So just unhook it from the top here and then you can sort of just wiggle it on out. There you go. And now you see the door panel is going to be attached with some wires. And on this specific model, the speaker is actually attached to the door panel itself. On some models, it's attached to the metal of the door. But on this one, it's just on the door panel, so it's going to be really simple to get off. All right, so now you're actually ready to take the stock door speaker out, which is just really easy. All you have to do is unclip these two plugs here and it's gonna be held in by these three eight millimeter bolts. So just use your tool here to just 
quickly undo those. And it might make it easier if you want to take the whole door panel out to undo some of the plugs, but I find that if you just balance it right on your lap here, you actually don't have to worry about taking out any of the plugs other than just the speaker one itself. So let's just get these other ones off real quick. All right, so now that those are out, you should be able to just pop the speaker right out. There's the stock speaker. Now we have the new Alpha One right here. It looks great. So you can just pop that right in using the stock mounting points. It should fit right in. And now there is a, there's two plugs on the stock speaker, but there's only one on the Alpha One. So we actually use these adapters here. So the adapters simply just go into the stock plugs like this. It's all plug and play, so very easy, to, very easy to do. And then you can just use this one leftover plug here just to go right into the uh, Alpha One. All right, now you're all plugged in. Now you all, all you need to do is put in the eight millimeter nuts and you should be ready to rock. All right, so those are all tightened down and your Alpha One in your door is ready to go. Now we're gonna move up to the tweeter, which is up at the top of the door panel. All right, so getting this uh, tweeter housing out here can be kind of tricky too. There's three clips over on this edge and there's also one or two over here. So I like to start on this side and sort of work your trim tool in there just to start to unhook the uh, clips over on this edge. And you can sort of hear them pop out one by one. And so when you take this out, you see there's some foam here that sort of holds in the stock speaker. So you can sort of just take the stock wiring there out of the uh, tape that's holding it in. And so as you can see, once you get that speaker housing off, there's one of the uh, wire adapters here. So you can just unplug that right, nice and easy. So once you have the tweeter housing out here, there's going to be four clips around the edge that you can sort of pry back with a screwdriver like this. And then once you have those sort of loosened up, the speaker should be able to just sort of wiggle out if you just pull it a little bit. So that came right out, that was easy. Sometimes that can be a little tricky. Luckily that went well for us. All right, so once you have the old speaker out, you can install the new Alpha One tweeter, which we have right here. So that's gonna pretty much pop in using the same clips as the stock speaker. There you go, you can hear it click in like that. So that's ready to go. And you have your uh, adapter. It's just gonna plug in right where the stock one plugged in. Just like that. Now you're ready to put this piece back in. So take that foam piece that you had before and you can use that to sort of do some wire management and get that all nice and snug like that. Yep, so once you have all this in together with the foam, the wires are coming out nicely, you can start to work this piece back in. Now sometimes it's helpful to do this back side here first because that can be sort of the tricky side. And then you see these three clips here, they're gonna go in pretty easily. So you can sort of just squeeze it all in. You can hear it snap in and that tweeter is ready to go. Okay, so now that you have your door speaker in as well as your tweeter, you can actually start the process of putting the door panel back on. It's pretty simple. It's gonna be the same process we just did, just backwards. One of my recommendations is putting in this lock mechanism first through the top of the door. And then sort of hanging the top of the door panel over the ledge on the top of the door. And then you can just start popping these clips back in. Like that, there you go. And then you can come around the bottom edge here and just give it some light taps. And you can hear all those clips going right back in. All right, yep, all the clips should be in. And once the clips are in, all you're gonna need to do is put the T30s back in right here behind the door handle. Nice and snug. And then you can take your door trim and just slide it over the door handle and pop those clips back in. All right, you can hear that clip back in, so that's ready to go. And then you just need to do the other T30 up here. Yep. So now we just have this one other T30 right here to go in. All right. 
right? So that's in nice and tight. Now we can actually start putting the trim back on the door here. So this is gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna wanna put in this side first because this has sort of an L bracket here. So you wanna slide in that L bracket first and then you can start popping the clips back in. Just some nice even pressure, nice and gentle. Should do the trick. There you go, now that trim piece is back in. You're good to go. And now once this trim piece is back in, you're done with the door and we can go ahead and move to the center of the dash. All right, so now we're inside the car and we're working on the speakers that are gonna be right here in the center of the dash. So this can be sort of tricky because this spot is always you know, baking in the sun, so these plastics can become kind of brittle sometimes. So you're gonna to wanna to be really careful when you use your plastic tool on the edge here. But basically you're just gonna to wanna to work it in there and slowly go around the edge to pry out those clips. You can hear one come out there. There's another one. There you go, there's a few more on this side here. Nice and gentle. All right, and that piece should be ready to come out. Have it right there. So once you have that cover off, you're gonna see two speakers here. There's gonna be a tweeter, which this car actually already has an aftermarket tweeter here from Beamer Tech, and a mid-range speaker, which this is the OEM mid-range speaker. So the tweeter's held in by two T20s, and this speaker here is held in by three T20s. And so this obviously is a pretty confined little space. So you wanna be careful not to hit the glass with any tools or anything. For example, I'm using this ratchet here and I can get to the mid-range speaker here to loosen it, but it's, this is still too long to, act, to actually reach the tweeters over here. So you're gonna need some sort of adapter to get into that really tight area there. So I'm just gonna start taking out the screws for this mid-range speaker here. So once you have those three screws out here, you can start to take this mid-range speaker out here. You can see it's got an adapter here. You're just going to unplug this plug here. Once you have that unplugged, as well as the plug here on the other side, right there. Then the stock speaker is free. Now, since this car actually has a aftermarket tweeter already installed here, it has the Beamer Tech uh, wiring installed as well, but essentially the wiring is gonna look like this. So you have one that goes to the tweeter, one that goes to the mid-range speaker, and one that goes to the stock um, wiring hookup. So once you have that stock speaker out, you can just use this plug here to plug right into the back of your new Beamer Tech speaker, just like that. And then you can use the stock three mounting points just to slide your new speaker right back in and use those T20s to reinstall it. All right, so now the speaker is installed and you're ready to just put your trim piece back on and then your dash speaker is ready to go. Now keep in mind this car did obviously have the aftermarket tweeter installed already, but the install for the tweeter is gonna be the same as the install for this. All you need to do is undo these two T20s right there and plug in the new speaker after you unplug the old one. So it's very straightforward, pretty much the same install as this mid-range here. So now you can just take your trim piece here and just pop it gently back in using the clips that are attached to it. There you go, and now you're ready to go with your uh, dash speaker as well. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the rear door panel. Depending on your vehicle, you may have a speaker right here. This particular 535 does have a speaker here, so we're going to remove the door panel to access this speaker. It's really similar to the front door panel. You're going to have to remove this trim here and pop out some uh, clips around the edge. But on this door panel, there's only one T30 holding it in right here rather than two like on the front. So let's go ahead and take our trim tool and start to work in here to try to remove this trim piece. There you go, that popped right out. That was a little easier than the front one, so that's out. And you can see we have a T30 right here, so we're gonna go ahead and undo that. So we have that there. So as you can see, this model actually has a sunshade here and here. Now this one's actually connected to the door panel, so you can just take the door panel right off and this one will just stay attached. But this one is actually sort of holding the door panel in at the top, so we have to remove this first. And you don't have to use any screws or anything, it just pops right in and out. So we're gonna use some plastic tools on the other side here to sort of pop this piece out. 
So if you roll the rear window down, it's gonna give you access to the outside edge of this sunshade right here. So just take one of your trim tools and slowly start working it in to undo some of the clips that are holding it in. I like to start at the bottom nice and gently. You can see that's sort of loose there. And that'll just pop right out like that. And now once we have that sunshade removed as well as the T30 out and the trim pieces out, you can actually start working your way around the edge of the door, similar to the front uh, passenger door. Some of these, in my experience, are a little trickier than the front ones, but it's the same idea. You just want to be gentle and slowly start to work those clips out. One at the top there. And then just like before, you can sort of use your fingers to start working your way around the bottom. There you go. And then you can take the door panel off like that and your speaker is going to be right here. So I'll show you that now. And so once you have the door panel removed, you have access to both the mid-range speaker here as well as the tweeter here. Now I like to remove the tweeter first and it's going to be pretty much the same as the one up front. There's just a few clips here that are holding it in. And once you bend those clips back, you should be able to just remove the tweeter fairly simply. There you go. So that's out there. All right, so now you can unplug these from your mid-range speaker. Just gently remove that. Now you have access to these eight millimeters that are holding the speaker in. Get started on those. And now if you wanna avoid undoing all the plugs for your uh, windows and stuff like that, right now I just have the door panel balanced on a chair so that I can work on it without having to remove all the excess wiring and stuff that doesn't have to do with the speaker install itself. All right, so now that your three eight millimeters are removed, you can remove the stock speaker. Now we have our new Alpha One right here, and that's just gonna go right into those same holes that the stock speaker used. There you go. Let's go ahead and tighten that down. All right, and now we can actually pop our new Alpha One tweeter in as well. So that's going to just use the same clips as the stock does. Clips in nicely. Now we just want to use the one plug on the adapter you have here on your Alpha 1. And then one of these goes to the tweeter. And the other one goes to the wiring from the car. All right, now once you have all that plugged in and secured, you're ready to put your door panel back on. You wanna make sure if this came undone, which is actually what controls the latch to undo the door, you wanna make sure you hook that on that metal piece right there. Just make sure you put the spring-loaded piece under there. So now your, your door handle is actually gonna work. So now we can go ahead and make sure that this locking mechanism is going through the hole in the door. And once we have that through there, we can start to hang the top of the door panel on the door itself. There we go. So once we have the top sort of hanging in there, holding it in place, you can start going around the edge and popping the clips back in. There's one there. And so, so, so now you see the door is actually on there. Now we just need to do the T30 in here and put the sunshade back on. So let's go ahead and do the T30 in the door handle. So just go ahead and screw that back in. All right, so putting the sunshade back on is gonna be even easier than taking it off. You're just gonna to have to put the bottom in there first and sort of press it in and it's just gonna click right in and that's ready to go. You can see it works and it's tight. And now the door's back on. The last thing we need to do is just put the trim piece back in. All right, so let's just put this last piece of trim on the door handle here. Make sure that clicks in. All right, and now your door is done, your speakers are in, and we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so as you can see here, this car actually has some speakers on the rear deck behind the seats uh, under the glass. And this process is gonna be pretty similar to doing the speaker in the center of the dash. You're just gonna wanna take one of your plastic trim tools 
and start prying up at the edge of this trim here just to get some of the uh, clips undone. See, so got some there. I'll just slowly start popping the edges up. The ones on this side as well. There you go. So that's going to expose a tweeter and a mid range speaker. You can remove that and we can get started on those. All right, so these speakers are held in with T20, so I'm going to go ahead and loosen these up. All right, so now we can go ahead and remove our speaker. Let's go ahead and unplug these plugs here. And now we have our adapter here for our Alpha 1, so we're going to put both of these in the adapters. And now we just use this one plug here that goes straight into the back of the Alpha 1. All right, so now we have the Alpha 1 wired in and ready to go. We can go ahead and put that back where it came from. Now this tweeter here is actually already aftermarket, so I'm not going to undo it for the purposes of this video, but it is the same as the tweeters prior. So it's just going to be two T20s here, and you can just remove it, unplug the stock tweeter, and plug it into the new wire adapter from BeamerTech. So now we can just go ahead and tighten up these T20s here, and we'll be done. All right, so now that you've got your speaker installed back here, we can put this trim piece back in. There's gonna be three little hooks on the back there that are gonna to wanna to go in first. So you're gonna to wanna to slide those into the back first, and then the rest is gonna kinda of just pop into place with a gentle push. All right, there you go. All right, so once we have the door speakers as well as the speakers in the dash installed, we can move to the woofers that are gonna go underneath the seats here. And the seats are held in by four T50s, one here, one up on the other side over there, as well as two on the back of the seat that I'll show you in just a minute. So let's go ahead and use our T50 just to undo these bolts here. One thing to keep in mind when you're working under your seat is to not unplug any of the yellow airbag wiring because that can cause an airbag warning light to come on on your dash. All right, so that's one there. All right, now we got that one loose. So we have that one removed there. All right, so now that I've got the T50s out of the seat on all four corners, I'm able to sort of lean the seat back and reveal this speaker cover right here. And this is held in by four T20s on each corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing those now. All right, now that all four corners are loose, you can go ahead and remove this cover here. And that's going to reveal the stock under the seat woofer there. Now this stock speaker here is held in with four T20s, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now some of these are sort of hidden by the carpet, but you can just lift the carpet up like that and you'll be able to get to them pretty easily. So I'm going to go ahead and use a T20 and a screwdriver to take some of these out. All right, so once you've got the cover off and you've got the four T20s on all corners taken out, you can use sort of like a flathead screwdriver or maybe even one of your plastic trim tools to get along the edge of that speaker and just sort of pry up the edge a little bit like that. Sometimes it can be kind of tricky, but once you have one edge, it's usually pretty easy to sort of slide the whole thing out. So once you've got the speaker sort of loosened up and almost out, there's a little plug here on the back. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's just a little clip on there you need to push in and then you can just sort of wiggle that plug out just like that. Now you can see the plug is free there and you can take out the stock speaker. All right, so once you have your other speaker out, you can take your Alpha 1, looks really nice, and you can just plug that in using the stock plug there, like that. And then you can just plop it into the same spot that the other speaker came out of, sort of work it underneath the rug there. Make sure you get the plug underneath there as well. and it should just fall right into place. Now you see it's right where it needs to be. Now we can just use those four T20s to tighten it back in. All right, so once you have the speaker tightened down, you can go ahead and put this plastic cover back on right where you found it. 
and start tightening those T20s down as well. Just make sure the holes are lined up, should be easy enough. All right, so once you have the speaker installed and you have this cover back on using those four T20s, you can lean the seat back forward and reinstall the seat. Get the holes nice and lined up so you can put the T50s in, and let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so now that your seats are back in, you're done with your Alpha 1 speaker install. You've got the nice low frequency speakers under the seats, the mid-range speakers in your door, as well as the tweeters, as well as the new speakers in the center of your dash. Now keep in mind this video did only cover the passenger side of the install, but the driver side is going to be a mirror image and is going to be pretty much the exact same process, so this video should still help you with that side of things. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content and hit the bell icon so you always know when Beamer Tech uploads a new video. Enjoy your new Alpha One speakers. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.